Now that your rifle is completely disassembled, we want to show you how to properly clean your 1022 for a lifetime of use. This instruction applies to all models of 1022 except the Magnum, which should be cleaned after every 50 rounds to prevent misfires. Anytime a firearm is subjected to adverse conditions, it's always a good idea to disassemble, clean, and lubricate the firearm. If your 1022 fails to feed or extract, this may be an indicator of a dirty firearm, but with proper cleaning and maintenance, it will ensure years of reliable service. So let's get started. To do the job right, you will want to work from a flat, clean surface and use a pad or drop cloth to protect the area from solvents. You will also need a few tools like a bore brush, snake or coated cleaning rod, a rod tip adapter, some patches, two clean rags, a bristle brush, solvent and oil. Use an acetone free solvent to protect the finish of your firearm. Run a solvent wetted patch through the bore several times. Notice I said wetted not soaked, not dripping with solvent. You do not want to bathe the gun in solvent to clean it. The same rule applies when lubricating a firearm. A little goes a long way. Now attach a solvent wetted brush to the rod and run it back and forth the full length of the bore as many times as necessary to move any lead or carbon fouling. With each pass let the gun set for a few minutes to allow the solvent to work in. You may want to flush any debris from the brush after a few passes. Any fouling will decrease the accuracy of your firearm. So once the bore is clear of debris, follow up with a series of wet and dry patches. Begin with a wet patch followed by several dry ones to remove any traces of solvent. When the patches finally come out of the bore white, continue drying the bore with several clean patches. When cleaning the chamber, you want to pay attention to the extractor slot and breech end of the barrel. Powder tends to build up in these areas after many rounds so that the cartridge may seat improperly. Apply powder solvent to a bristle brush to remove powder residue from the chamber. Again, follow up with a solvent wetted patch, then dry patches until they run clean and white. Follow the same procedures with a guide rod assembly, trigger goop, and bolt. Once you have completed the cleaning, apply a small amount of oil to a patch and run it through the bore. Using a lightly oiled rag, wipe down the guide rod, assembly, trigger group, and bolt. Wipe all surfaces with a clean cloth, then wipe the entire gun down with a cloth that has been very lightly oiled. Now your Ruger 1022 is cleaned and oiled, ready for reassembly, thanks to this Ruger Tech tip.